Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, this is my uh, my driving back to my home, and uh, man, uh, I just I just left Carsrail, Carsrail, something like that, uh, Belize. It's in the northern part of Belize, close to the Mexican border, and. Uh, it's very hot. It's raining. It's uh, the 16th, uh, September 16th, and um, I've got to be out of the country by this by tomorrow. And uh, in case, in case there's. Uh, any uh, car problems, I thought I better head out a day early. Uh, they got a celebration coming up this weekend, but they made the rules. They, they told me they only let me have a, here, they only let me be here a week and I can't stay any longer, so I can't spend any more money, so I'm gonna have to leave. Uh, really a weird kind of place, Belize is. Um, the roads, uh, as you can see, it's, it's a little, I think I'm on the right road. I hope I'm on the right road, but uh, we'll see what goes on here. Let me just see if I can show you. Uh, well, let me show you where we're at here first. I don't know if it's going to show up that good. And they're working on the road. Uh, I don't know if this is the right road, but we're on the road anyway. Let's see if we can get it in here. Now. Northern part of Belize. See if you can see all these holes. Uh, it is asphalt. It is an asphalt road, but there's a lot of holes in the road. And um, I'm expecting uh, I'm expecting to get back to. Uh, where I'm going in Guatemala. I'm expecting two days. It took two days to get here, but it was downhill. Half of the, one day was downhill, and so uh, we're going to be doing one day uphill, so that'll probably take longer. And this is uh, sugar cane over here. There's uh, the best I can figure, uh, sugar cane, and uh, when I was here before on the southern part of the country is oranges. So uh, that's what there is. I say the road's going to be a little, little challenging. If I was a rich man, I'd be doing my travels with a four-wheel drive. This is very difficult uh, on my car here. I say, what we got here, we uh, had one uh, CV joint got knocked out, and uh, one of my uh, new struts was knocked loose too, getting here. So uh, it has been a challenge. And let's see, uh, eight miles. <laughs> that's how much. That's how much we've been. We've gone so far as eight miles. So you know, this is gonna be a trip. It's really, really hot. I'm going to uh, uh, 
talking about the chamoc, that scarf thing. I'm getting ready to uh, I'm look. I'm, I'm looking for an excuse to stop here. I've only been gone eight miles. And I'll be looking for an excuse to stop, and uh, I'll get some water, and I'll get that scarf thing soaking wet and wrap it around me. It's uh, eight nine o'clock in the morning. So uh, it's going to be a really interesting trip going back. Uh, like I say, I'm not in really any hurry. I uh, emailed my uh, uh, family and told them I was on the road. I just left. Uh, I checked my YouTube and I made a note on the, on the YouTube. Uh, someone asked me something and I told them that I was just heading out right now. So, uh, few people know I'm on the road. Now, let me see how I'm going to get through this. Boy, is this the road? Uh, don't know if I'm on, even on the road or not. We're going to find out. Okay. Catch you later. Oh yeah, it's uh, eight miles. I already told you eight miles. Two hundred and sixty-seven. Let's see if you can see it. Let me stop here. And let me see if you can see it. That's what I got. That's how many miles are on my car. So, anyway, now you know what's going on. Okay. Uh, I made the wrong turn to start with. <laughs> uh, I say there's very few signs down here. And uh, I couldn't remember. I thought, boy, I don't remember roads being quite that bad. <laughs> so uh, I had to come back. I got about six miles. <laughs> remember I told you I was eight miles out? Uh, six of those miles I was lost. So, uh, but anyway, now I'm back. And now the trip has officially started. Okay, uh, just let you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Now we're going. Oh yeah, you see these? The pedestrian crossings? Okay, uh, they don't call them uh, speed bumps. Uh, every once in a while you'll see a sign that says bumps. But uh, that's what they are. The, Tumbelos or uh, speed bumps, uh, but here they call them uh, pedestrian crossings. So uh, whenever you see the sign pedestrian crossing, you better slam on the brakes. We are on the main highway now. Uh, I say my GPS doesn't work down here. Uh, the main thing it tells me is where the ocean is. Uh, the highways aren't always, uh, in other words, it shows that I'll be driving on the ground or sometimes in the ocean and uh, I'll be on the highway. So the highway is not always right location on the GPS. So uh, accuracy isn't one of the things. Wow, well, that's kind of pretty, that red tree. So, uh, but anyway. So I'm on the main highway now, and uh, said speed limit's 55. Uh, police is, uh, they got everything in gallons. Uh, they call it the dollar, the police dollar. It's uh, twice the U.S. dollar. Uh, in other words, if something's a uh, U.S. dollar, it's two dollars here. So it's easy to figure what the prices are. And uh, what we got here. So, but anyway, uh, just to let you know I am on on the road now. And uh, see, there's no signs that says Belize City. Uh, there's no, there's just very few signs telling you anything. Um, I tell you, I just went by a school and they had this big old drawing on the side of the school and it's the earth 
and it shows a, like a backhoe digging on it and a big old chunk of the earth is taken out and uh, I say everything down here is in English so it's, I, I can understand this stuff but it says save the earth and you know I'll tell you what uh, I am not a greenie and I'll tell you what it is and I'm not one of these that has saved the earth uh, I'll tell you it, this makes me so mad uh, these people that they push the idea of save the earth kind of crap uh, don't cut down the trees don't do all this kind of stuff uh, I'll tell you these people are I, I think I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I'm, I think they have good intentions. But the thing is, they're stupid as hell because they, for some reason, they think that, okay, you either save everything, you be good to everything, or you're mean to everything. You destroy, you, you tear things up and all that. They don't realize there's something in between. They just see one or the other. And the part that, that gripes me is, do they really think I want to destroy this earth? You know, and I think it's funny. I travel this earth. I'm around, I see a lot of it. Why would I possibly want to destroy any of it? I mean, that's the most stupid, stupid kind of thinking I've ever even heard of. And they preach this to the damn children. And these children growing up believing this stuff. And the part that, now this is the part that really irks me. And that is, these people are taught young. They're taught they can't do anything. They can't develop. They can't make things. They can't do anything. That's because they're so busy not destroying anything. I mean, it just, it gripes my butt that uh, these people have no motivation to better their lives and once you better your life you do more things you can you'll know you'll learn how to cut down the trees and plant more trees how to do it what kind of trees where to do it when all this kind of stuff but you need to be intelligent you need to better yourself you need to improve your lifestyle in which these people stay stupid. They stay ignorant. They don't understand what's going on. And the people that make the money off of these people are the ones that, that develop themselves. They don't develop the world. They're the ones that are destroying this world. So all you greenies, to think you're helping, you're not. You're, you're really stupefying all these people. These poor people, they don't get a chance to learn, learn the truth, learn how they can improve their lives. And when they improve their lives, they improve other people's lives. They make opportunity for others. And everybody can benefit. Nobody wants to destroy this earth. I mean, it's just the most ignorant kind of thing you ever heard of. You know, if you, okay, I'm not saying that this earth isn't being destroyed. But what I'm saying is look at who's doing it. Uh, right offhand, I know China is just, they're destroying this earth. But do you really, in your mind, do you really believe the Chinese people can't wait to destroy this earth? No, it's not the Chinese people. It's the government. The government does this stuff. If the government would stay out of the way, the people would learn how to control their environment. The people would learn how to keep their environment clean and at the same time develop it. You can develop it. You can cut down trees without destroying the, the anything. You know, I mean, get serious. That's why I really get upset about these people. I see the results of their warped thinking. I see the people that suffer. I mean, these people have nothing. Like I say, they make less than $200 a month. And, 
you know, and they live in, you know, these people really have it tough. And, but I say, they're the majority. And just that small little bit tries to convince them that they need to do things the right way. It just irks me really bad. I'm sorry, but when I saw that sign, it just it just ripped me apart. I'm just thinking that the people are so stupid to believe that kind of stuff. Like I say, if if you truly develop and better yourself, you will be bettering other people. If other people don't benefit from what you do, you are not really benefiting yourself. You just you're 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 uh, doing greed. You're looking for your own personal uh, benefits. But like I say, to truly benefit, you benefit others. When you do good, others do good. That means you are really truly benefiting yourself. Okay, it's uh, really hot in here. Let me show you. Uh, I've got my, my my scarf thing on. Uh, it really does. It really does keep you warm or keep you cool. Uh, I don't really say it keeps you cool, but it's cooler on the inside. That was at 98 degrees. My body temperature. It's cooler on the inside than on the outside. It is really hot out here. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Okay, it's uh, 10.46, so we've been uh, on the road an hour and 45 minutes. Um, let's see if I can show you where I'm going to have. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, Belmopan. That's the capital of Belize. And it's more in the center of the country. And we're going to be heading through that. Uh, I don't think we're going to go in. I hope we don't go in town. Uh, to go on to go to uh, uh, hit the border with Guatemala. And uh, uh, it's been hot, but it's been overcast. So uh, that's a good thing. And uh, most of the ground is, uh, you look at it, it doesn't look like too much, but it's kind of swampy. Uh, but I don't know. But I, I've seen some houses that were up, like a beach house. So that makes me wonder, maybe the ground is uh, a little loose. And uh, I say, um, all the, there's not really any high growth. Uh, you see these trees, I say it's not really jungle, I wouldn't consider it jungle at all. Uh, there you go, you see uh, these trees, they, uh, a lot of, on just about every block, when you get where there's buildings and stuff, just about every block they sell water. Uh, so about the so you drink about those big old five gallon bottles. That's what it is. That's what the crystal you see the the crystal there. That's uh, water. That's the only water company that they've got that they sell a bottle of water. I think we're we're doing good. Uh, I say the signs aren't really real good. They're not really telling me where the, the places I want to go. 
Uh, been going on uh, Belize, going to Belize, but now I don't want to go to Belize, so now I'm trying to stay away from it. That's why I'm going to the capital. And then from there, I don't know the name of the town yet that's on the border, but we'll have to figure out what that is. See that semi? Uh, well, that was a dump truck. The, the truck's kind of funny looking. I don't know what the story is on that. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like an old bridge. Yeah, it's an old bridge. Don't go straight. The guy told me go straight. Don't turn. So I think that's what he was talking about right there. So, uh, but anyway, now, look at the trees now. Now it's starting to look more like a uh, jungle. Yeah, uh, we'll see what it's, but I say now we're heading more inwards, so uh, maybe that's what it is. I say most everything down here has been swamp or jungle, one or the other. So, uh, uh, ready to go. Oh, I thought I'd, oh, there's the house in the middle of nowhere. See the trees. Definitely tropical. Uh, it's not really. How uh, about this way? I've been in more jungle than what this is, so I don't really know if this is called jungle or not. See, that's what I was talking about. You see the building on stilts? Yeah, there's a building on a trailer. <laughs> wow! Huh. That was cool. I'm glad I was able to catch that on on video. There, you see the water. See that? It's pretty, it's pretty swampy. Like maybe this is still swamp, not pretty jungle. But the growth is getting taller. It doesn't smell like jungle, uh, all the fungus and bacteria and stuff. So that that part's not so bad. But I say uh, we probably have another three hours of this before we hit the border. Providing I don't get lost anymore, and I have. Yeah, now I see the growth is getting short again. Not quite sure what this place is. But it's got a big old fence around it. It's some kind of a factory. Whoa, I don't know about that. Might be a prison. Got an armed guard up there. Yeah. I think it's a prison. Don't know for a fact. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 11 o'clock, uh, we've gone 87 miles in two hours, so uh, we've been moving fast, uh, that just goes to show you, uh, slow moving, and uh, so we got about uh, seven more hours of daylight and uh, I think it's going to be a tough seven hours. I say the only time I stop is at the border 
and uh, I'll have, uh, as I get close to the border, I'll have some more uh, uh, Belize money I need to spend, so I'll probably get some gas before I cross. Uh, I don't really eat. Um, I sure don't eat the food that's on the road. I don't do that, but uh, I uh, do eat uh, uh, snacks and stuff. That's about the only time I snack when I'm on the road. It's packaged food. Okay, see none of those is where I want to go. Oh, Battle Pan. Yep, that's it. I go right. So. Uh, Belmo Pan. Just uh, believing the signs are going to be accurate. Not that many roads, so that's not too big of a deal. I don't know what that was. Okay, I think it's some kind of law enforcement. And, uh, but yeah. So we're. We're still going. It's a good sign. Uh, let me show you. So we're at, we're about in the center of Belize now. So, whoa, speed bump. Uh, all the whole country is is pretty much a mess. Well, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's nice. See the house up on the stilts? Just a little bit. But, uh, there's a lot of places like this that we. What's that? Police station. Okay. Haitiville. Haitiville Police Station. Holy. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, I was wondering where the people come from. A lot of them came from the islands. And that's why they have that, Alan, a lot of it is uh, Allen uh, attitude. I mean, they're really laid back, real slow. Uh, not in a hurry for anything. Don't need to do too much. Don't need much. Don't want much. Boy, that's kind of like me, doesn't it? But, uh, the only thing is, they don't go anyplace. They don't do anything. A lot of buses. And, uh... But, yeah. You know, we're real fortunate today. It's not raining. It really, uh... Traveling when you don't know where you're at, and it's raining, it really gets difficult. Uh, one thing, uh, I stop and ask directions a lot. Uh, like I say, uh, I want to make sure I'm on the right road, going to the right place. And uh, when it's raining, people aren't out. So it's really difficult to get your way around when it's raining. So. But uh, this is good. Everything is good. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but uh, there's mountains over there. I'm trying to zoom it in a little bit. There's mountains. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. There's little mountains. They're just sprouted up.
They're just sprouted up right there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, like I say, it's right about in the center. Right about in the center of Belize. Hey. We're going to be going right by those mountains. The road's turning right there. They're not that big. Uh, but they are a mountain. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got power lines. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before. Belize gets their electricity from Mexico. It's very expensive. those mountains. It looks like we're curving away from them now. Anyway, it's funny to see mountains out in the middle of nowhere. Kind of like in Oklahoma, uh, quartz mountains. Uh, well, flat, and then all of a sudden, it's mountains. That's over here. Oh, where's it? we're going around the mountains. That's what we're doing. Uh, well, another thing, uh, I was talking about the the ignorance, keeping the people ignorant, uh, not letting the people develop, not not teaching them how to get smart and how to do good. Uh, a good example is um, Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, you have to. It's so hot. I, don't, I bet you it's hotter right now. I know if in the summer it's hotter than what it is here right now in Oklahoma and Kansas. If you didn't have air conditioning, if you didn't develop, if you didn't grow and, and learn and be able to make things, you wouldn't have been able to survive in, in Kansas, Oklahoma. So uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. When I talk about these people, they they don't uh, teach them how to get smart. They don't teach them the thinking process. Uh, I say they keep them misdirected, uh, and uh, that's why I was talking about the uh, saving the earth kind of stuff. You know, you you instead of learning how to develop things and do good, they get you misguided. And, uh, but I say, everybody needs to get better. That's what made the United States so strong, is everybody in the country would want to improve their lives. Now you look at it, half of the population does not want to improve their lives. Uh, you know that because, like I say, they're the ones that are on uh, taking government hangout, handouts. So... Uh, that's an example. That's what happens when you have people that don't want to develop and improve on their lifestyle and improve on their own personal being. And uh, that's why I make my videos. I'm giving people ideas on what they can do to improve. I'm constantly trying to improve my life. And uh, that's what's going to make everybody get better when everybody tries to improve on themselves. Otherwise you have a small percentage of the population that are rich and everybody else is poor and they're happy just to be poor. That's those mountains we just went by. So there's looks like there's a pretty good stretch in there. And uh Let's see. See, we're even closer to the middle of uh, the country. Those mountains, yeah, they're reaching all the way over. That was the starting of a ridge. The ridge goes all the way. 
it goes right on into Guatemala. Okay, um, we're, uh, it's uh, a little after 12, so we've been on the road for three hours. Uh, let's see if I can show you. We're right at the border, getting close to the border. And uh, 134 miles. So we've got 134 miles in three hours. That's uh, a lot better than what it's getting ready to be. <laughs> it's going to slow down a lot from there. Uh, we're going to Banque. And uh, that's, uh, the, I think that's right close to the border. I don't really believe it's right on the border. I don't think it's a border town, but it's close. And uh, I think this is it right here. It's pretty enough anyway. And uh, everything's going good so far. Uh, we've ran into a little bit of rain here and there. But it's been good. Everything's been good. It's not real hot. Like I say the, the overcast has kind of helped a lot. And uh, uh, we're, it's uh, you see there's more growth here now. Uh, more well usable growth, I'll put it that way. Uh, say the uh, uh, where we where we started from, they don't have they don't. It's one of the poorest, second poorest community. So uh, there's a reason for it. It's right here. You can see there's there's more uh, more green, more life, and I don't know if it's just today. It's not so hot, but it's, I say it seems like it's not as hot as what it was over there too. Okay. Oh boy, crossing the river. This is pretty. We're on the. The western edge of uh, Belize. Should be crossing before too long. There's so many signs I can't tell where anything is. <laughs> I don't read fast enough. So, uh, So I'm still kind of lost. There's got there's a little bit of traffic, but I'm not quite sure where it's going. Oh, here's the market. There's some signs. KO, welcome to KO. I don't know what that means. Fugo's fire. Not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure if we're going to the right place or not. These cars passed me at one time. I passed them and they passed me, so I'm thinking maybe they're going the same place I'm going. You see everybody dressed pretty cool. This is downtown. I don't sure I'm not sure. What town this is, Benque or um, San uh, Igra, something like that. So I'm not quite sure. And where I'm going to go, I know even less. Uh, Guatemala? No, you have to go straight so, Okay, thank you. Thank you. I speak English still. That's good. And he says straight, so I guess I'm okay. Oh, don't think they mean straight up that way. I think they mean straight this way. So, uh, anyway, I'm not 
quite sure. Not quite sure at all where I'm going. I'm gonna stop here. It looks like this. Yeah, police station. We'll find out. Stop here and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, uh, just gassed up. Let's see if you can see it. Gassed up in the gas station. Don't know what it is. Uh, but <clears throat> now uh, we're 11 miles from the border. And uh, then we go on and do our thing crossing the border. Oh, yeah, it's 144 miles is what I have did. And um, it's 1240. So it's uh, about, oh, not a little bit less than four hours uh, to get here. But we're still not to the border. So it'll probably be about four, about four hours and then another hour to cross the border. So, uh, so we, we should be probably about uh, two o'clock getting across the border. But uh, that tells us uh, how far the uh, northern part of uh, Mexico from where I'm at. I'm about halfway down on uh, Belize Western Front, and uh, I say well, uh, about about four hours from the from Mexico. And I think that's it. <laughs> we're gonna start start the show going now. This is where we're at. And uh, this is really about the the last of everything being civilized. Uh, we, once we hit the border, I want to try to get some videos of the border uh, because I say it starts getting kind of uh, borders are seldom are the borders a pleasant place. A pleasant place to be and most people don't even like being there and uh, the problem with borders a lot of people are stuck there they got as far as they can go and they ran out of money and um, some are worse than others um, but anyway we'll, we'll see about getting it uh, go from there. I forgot to tell you uh, the, the gasoline was five dollars and uh, 85 cents a gallon and uh, I don't know if it was my vehicle the, the type of driving conditions or what uh, but I, I got uh, 19 miles to a gallon that's not good at all. Normally I'll get right almost 30, 30 miles to a gallon. So, uh, something's happening. Something's happening. I just passed uh, some. Uh, Law. Anyway, we're going to see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're almost to the border, and I think this is a prison. Oh, maybe not. No, it's going to be a prison. It's still in the makings. Uh, yeah, I think it's still in the makings. Uh, surely it's not the border. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. Uh, we should be 
coming. Yeah, we're here. This is the border. This is the border. Now, now we go. I got insurance right in there when I came in. So, uh, that wasn't the prison. That was uh, where they lock stuff up at the border. Things, illegal stuff and illegal people hold them. That's it. But anyway, uh, let me see about what we got to do to cross here.